गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट वी हैव हर्ड द थर्ड बजट स्पीच द फर्स्ट वॉज एन इंटरम बजट एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड फुल फ्लैश बजट इन माई व्यू मेयरली लुकिंग एट द गवर्नमेंट फाइनेंसेज अलोन वुड नॉट गिव अस ए करेक्ट आइडिया ऑफ द कंडीशंस इन द कंट्री एंड देयर फोर इन ऑर्डर फॉर द हाउस टू एप्रिशिएट द रियल सिचुएशन इन द कंट्री इट इज नेसेसरी टू गिव अस वॉट आई वुड कॉल ए नेशनल बजट along with the government budget government is after all only a means to an end the entire government system is only for the purpose of enforcing the national policy if that be so first we have to understand the national situation before we give our judgment regarding the instrument which is controlling these national resources so i would request the honorable the finance minister and the government to give to this house and to the country at an early date a complete picture of at what position do we stand regarding our national life regarding our production in the various industries and in the various sectors of national activity only then we will be able to know what we have what would be our requirements and in what way we have to got to improve so in that view i feel that we will not be competent to pass judgment on the real situation in the country with only the figures given to us regarding the government finances it has been stated that the fight against inflation is the main preoccupation of the government i agree but i am sorry to say that we are not at all satisfied with the way in which inflation is being tackled experts in various fields were consulted for the purpose of eliciting their opinion in regard to the fight against inflation and one of the recommendations made was that there should be a drastic economy in the government expenditure all avoidable expenditure should be avoided the government accepted that recommendation but have they implemented it they did not look into their administrative expenditure and they did not care to find out what are the expenditures which could possibly be cut out as a matter of fact an economy committee has been appointed and it has submitted its report also but the first thing the central government did was to find out which were the development schemes which could be postponed or dropped if these schemes of development are necessary for the welfare of the country did the government take care to find out in what other matters and to what extent there could be economy in the administrative sphere without going into that matter at all useful schemes of development have been help us simply because they did not care or did not want to bring about economy in other fields so i say the wrong end has been chosen and even now no assurance has been given to us that economy will be affected 
in the administrative field in the near future during the next year we have got to see that the government tackles this problem of inflation properly i wish to mention one other factor with regard to this fight against inflation it is stated over and over again that it is a matter of surplus spending power in the hands of the people which is the cause of all this inflation and rise in prices i have gone to the rural parts in my state and i can say that the surplus amount of money in the hands of the people is restricted only to a very few people but the vast majority of the people in the rural areas and also the poor people in the urban areas are as before it is not a question of their having any surplus money in their hands even now they are unable to purchase their daily rations their weekly rations and they have to borrow even for that sometimes they have even to forego the rations which they have to get every week that being so this question of surplus money power is only in the hands of a very few people i would say perhaps 1 or 2% of the population with the rest of the 98 or 99% of the population it is not a question of surplus money in their hands this inflation is merely the result of paucity of goods therefore if you want to tackle this problem of inflation it is not a question of surplus money in the hands of the people but one of scarcity of goods one of production and there is not sufficient production in the country the government should tackle this problem of production before they think of withdrawing the surplus money in the hands of the people if the government is merely taking measures to withdraw the surplus money which is lying in the hands of the people without tackling the problem of production they will not be solving the problem